Mesa, up to a dozen people forced out of their home following an early morning fire at an apartment complex there. Uh, Desiree Flewellen is live near University and Mesa Drive with details on what happened. Goodness, this looks like an absolute mess, Des. It is, and that's what exactly what we're going to show you this morning. So uh, take a look with me here. We can see an official with the Mesa Police Department and uh, an official with the Gilbert and Fire Rescue Team as well. They're kind of focusing on this area of the apartment complex right now where a truck and this ATV is parked right in the front. Uh, you can just see the damage uh, of that ATV, basically just the wire frame left there and uh, the tires. So they're kind of focusing on this section, thinking this is potentially where the fire started, of course. They're still investigating for that official cause. But take a look at me as well. And when we walk in the street here, you can see everyone's personal belongings uh, just scattered. A teddy bear here left behind. Shoes from the folks that lived in this building. Kind of gives you chills because uh, now at least 12 people have been displaced are, and are without a home now this morning. So let's take a look at video we did collect for you from the scene here early this morning. This call came out just before two and crews uh, responded very quickly. We are just down the street from the Mesa Fire Department. So it took them just about a minute to get here. And we also did speak with a resident who says, um, you know, it was a scary situation waking up to all of this chaos. Take a listen. So when I actually walked out the house, I mean, the ATV was on fire. And then his truck, the truck, there was a truck parked next to it that was up in flames. So I mean, we could. I was sitting right there watching all that. But as the trucks start growing and growing, they start moving people back and back, and then they, it, everything else went up in flames. People who was outside was the only warning. <laughs> only warning. If it wasn't for them, who knows where we all be right now. And the good thing here is that no one has been injured at this time. And if we take a live look back out here at the scene this morning, uh, look at this. You can see, you guys, see how dark it is on the building there and uh, how it just darkens all the way up on the right side of this building. And then you can see the fire just, it started here down below, kind of went up and then shot across all the way to the roof. So if you take a walk with me, you can see um, the whole roof now is gone. So they were also nice. dealing with that partial roof collapse. And this was just such a heavy response. It was upgraded to a two alarm, uh, but again, the good thing here, at least nobody was hurt. Um, and now they're being assisted by some local organizations, including uh, the Red Cross. But yeah, yeah, devastating here this morning. It really is. Imagine that, right, Des? In the middle of the night, a fire burns through and you just pretty much lose everything, all your belongings. Yeah, and I think that yeah. building's probably going to have to come scary. down. I mean, the whole inside <clears throat> is burned out there. Yeah. Thank you, Des. Des, thank you. Yeah, look at that.